In the new My Restaurant update, they added a Royal Bundle Game Pass for 5,000 Robux and a mysterious shrine that has question marks. And it's $10 million. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll buy the $10 million shrine and uncover the secrets. What do those question marks mean? Find out and like the video. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to My Restaurant. I'm your host, Russo, from the Russo Plays YouTube channel. Hi, how are you today? Today! We are, oh, sorry, Charles. Oh, sorry, Bob. Sorry for getting in your way. Oh, so, sorry, Ethan. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, random customers. Uh, sorry, Benjamin. Okay, I'll just leave my restaurant so I can talk to my viewers. Anyways, we're back in my restaurant, the game that was created by the Pet Simulator dev team, Big Games. Uh, I currently have a restaurant right here of 442 customers served, and it's the tallest restaurant in the entire game with eight floors. We've did, we did a, we've did? Emmer's kind of hard. We've done a lot of progress since our last vid, um, but, or in our last it, I should say, but we haven't played since. So uh, they just updated the game. I want to sort of make my restaurant a little bit beefier, a little bit better, and also potentially get the new shrine item that they just added, the Royal Bundle. It's 5,000 Robux. So make sure you watch to the end because if you guys hit that like goal, I'm probably gonna end up getting it, let's be honest. But it seems really, really cool. And this game is way cooler than I thought it would be. Obviously, it's very similar to Restaurant Tycoon 2, games that already exist, but it's so smooth feels like it, it feels like a true like a diner dash type game i don't i don't know the word for it but it feels like a professional game you know what i mean like it doesn't even feel like i'm playing roblox it feels like i'm playing an indie dev company's game or a mobile game or something something about it is just really well made and well scripted but nevertheless we're gonna become super powerful or or in our restaurant whatever the word is for it but we need to get more items as you can see, my restaurant is getting kind of crowded on the bottom floor. People are just like taking too many orders down here. So I need to go up here and add things to my other floors. Like in floor two, I only have one oven and I don't have that many chairs. I need to get more seating up here. So our goal is to go purchase some more seating and uh, sort of get these other floors working properly. This, this was supposed to be all blue carpet and it's just kind of like not all blue carpet. It's kind of awkward to be honest. So we have a lot of work to do on my restaurant. Make sure you guys watch to the end to see how beefy my restaurant gets. Let me know in the comments how far you guys got in this game. And if you're playing it yourself, the link will be in the description and it's obviously on the front page. You guys pretty much know where it is. Um, so here's floor four. We got some stuff up here. James is grabbing a sale. Look, they made a sandwich up here. So they are using the top floors, which is good, but we really need to get uh, more seating because this is just too crowded down here. So let's go ahead. Let's grab our money from our money tree. Bam, thousand bucks, not bad. I'll take it. Um, so let's teleport to the shop. Actually, wait, before I teleport to the shop, even though I just did, I wanna see what is outside here because it looks like there's a lot of areas to explore. I don't know if there's anything, but like, look at this, like in the middle, they got a little park area. They got a little campsite. This is so beautiful. What's this right here? Top restaurant level in this server. Noob noob are you. Bro, this guy's the top in the server. I'm not even the top in the server. He has 244,000 cash. Oh my gosh, wait, so why is he the top? Oh, it's because his restaurant level. Oh my, all right, so we gotta level up our restaurant fast. We gotta try and beat this guy. He's the top in the server. Is this also like top in the server or is this global? I don't know what this leaderboard is. This is uh, top in the server as well. Dude, I really need to get there. Oh, that's top customer serve, 13,000. All right, so I'm gonna need to step it up a little bit. Uh, oh, that guy's also got a four story. So let's just go over to the shop right here and see what we can purchase. Also, did we end up getting VIP? I think we did, right? Yeah, yeah, we did get VIP. So we pretty much have everything that you can buy. Also, we're missing these boosts. We need to grab these boosts. So uh, let's, oh, this is already active. Okay, nice. Uh, hyper stoves, let's grab that. Let's grab all these boosts while I can because it's really gonna help. Gain a massive boost in customers. Don't mind if I do. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, these are really cool too. You can use these to instantly finish the eating. I did this a lot last time. And then also send a very generous VIP customer. Well, once we go back to our restaurant, we'll do that. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Get me back to the shop, please. Thank you. So what we need now is, first of all, a lot more blue carpets because I don't have enough and that was kind of awkward. So let's just spam buy. I wish there was a way to buy like a lot more, a lot quicker, but this is kind of how we have to do it, I'm pretty sure, right now. While we're doing this, make sure you guys smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell for two videos every single day. 
where I pretty much just go crazy and buy a lot of stuff and uh, you know, anything you suggest. If you guys have any really cool suggestions for videos in the future, any games that you want me to play, I'm all ears. I, I mean, actually I have two ears. I'm, I'm all face and hair and, and also ears. I have ears as well. So if you want to tell me what to do, I'm down to try out some new games. Um, sh what should we do for the next flooring? I feel like we should do an obsidian marble tile. That looks sick. That looks crazy. And the white marble, ooh, this is actually really luxurious. You know what? Maybe we should do this for one of the floors. Let's do this for one of the floors. It's gonna be really expensive. So we're gonna need to probably buy cash. I don't even know if we'll have enough. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these. Hopefully I have enough. Can we actually check real quick? Uh, decor. I have 129. That, that might be enough. That very well might be enough. I'm not exactly sure, but we're just gonna make sure it's enough. Bam, okay. It's probably enough, probably enough. So I have that for the flooring. Um, I do kind of want more floors. Like I, I just want to make every single part of my restaurant a different type of flooring, you know what I mean? Should we get pine wood? Pine wood's kind of nice. Yeah, okay, screw it. I'm gonna do this too. I'm gonna need to buy money, dude. I'm I'm definitely need to buy money. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Millionaire pack! Millions of dollars! and all my Robux down the drain. Hey, speaking of Code Russo, when buying Robux or premium, I highly suggest you do that because I am getting broke. Oh, here's a tanker person. What's up, tanker person? Tanker's got some dope merch, I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of merch, the Blue Crew merch is coming soon. It's gonna be super hot fire. All right, we got a lot of these. That's good, that's good. That should be fine. Now, this is the expensive part because I really want the best dishwashers and you know sinks and stuff possible, but these are pretty expensive. So let's go ahead and just buy these, like the high-tech ones. These are pretty close, you know what I mean? Let's just buy a few of these. There we go, and then let's buy, this is really close too. Insane high speeds, blazing speeds, ooh. One of these, one of these, and then three of these. Okay, that, that should be fine. Um, now I think I need some more sinks, huh? Wait, I don't even need sinks if I have dishwashers, right? Two is better than one, holds nine dishes. Yeah, I don't even need sinks if I have dishwashers, right? Yeah. Okay, sick. So uh, I think we're good on that front for now. We might need to come back for, for for some more materials, but here is the royal bundle that I might get in a bit. Oh my gosh. The shrine, $10 million. Wait, does that come with the... Oh, the shrine doesn't come with the royal bundle. The shrine is 10 million cash and it doesn't come with the royal bundle. So we will absolutely cop the shrine, 10 million, dude. That's insane. Look at how expensive these are. Has a 10% chance to attract. <gasps> That's insane. Oh my gosh, should we get that? I'm gonna wait for now. We'll come back, we'll come back. So let's go to the restaurant and figure this out. We're gonna go to our second floor real quick and uh, let's go ahead and add some more flooring. Wait, I'm so stupid. I didn't even buy any more floor or uh, more tables and stuff. Did I? I didn't even buy any more furniture. Oh, I do have more furniture. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's put a table right here. There we go. Bam, 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 and bam. Yeah, the placements, like just, just the way you place everything in this game and the way it works is just very smooth and very satisfying. I like it a lot. And uh, it's pretty messy up here. I know there's just a lot of tables and chairs, but you know what? It doesn't matter because now we can have more customers up here. So bam, lots of seating, lots of room here. Probably even one more table right here. There we go, that should be good. All right, let's get this, this, and bam. There we go, <laughs> they just walk through the table. All right, so we got a lot of seating up here. I kind of want to mess with the flooring and make this a marble tile flooring. You think that's what we should do up here? Maybe, let me see. Yeah, that's kind of nice. All right, well, it's gonna take a while to do this. We can't drag, I, w I wish we could just like drag. I guess I can just spam. We can just spam. There we go. This works. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll have enough to cover the entire floor, but my goal is to cover the entire floor and make this floor white marble. And then we'll we'll go up and uh, we'll finish the carpet on that other one. Oh, this is looking nice though. So we gotta cover literally every pixel of floor. There we go. Oops, I accidentally picked up one of the food items. Uh, do we have enough still? Okay, nice. We're doing it, we're doing it. Let me know what you guys do to uh, do in your restaurant. If you have any like suggestions on how I could make mine better or add things or whatever, just anything I can do to make my restaurant better, I'm down because this game is honestly pretty sick and I kind of want to get really far in it. 
Um, I need a really high level restaurant. All right, so this is just gonna increase the look of my place tenfold, but I'm out of marble. Oh no, I'm out. I'm out, bro. I only have two left. Now I'm out. So this is the floor so far. It looks really, really good, but I haven't finished it. So I need to buy even more, which is very expensive. Um, but now let's go over and do the carpet. Let's let's do the carpet real quick. So we'll go over to teleport to, uh, wait, where do we go? We'll teleport to floor two, right? No, three. There we go. Um, so let's finish the carpet. We should be able to finish the carpet here. It's kind of weird having carpet as the entire floor of a, of a, you know, a floor in a restaurant, but who cares, all right? It's blue and I want a blue floor. I want a blue floor because it's my restaurant. I'm the owner, dude. It's in the game name, all right? My restaurant. Finally almost done. I'm kind of, I still have a hundred carpet left. So I think this definitely should be enough. I'm finally about to have a, an entire floor covered in blue. And look at that blue flower. Oh, that's just beautiful. Beautiful. Yes! Okay, so I think, I, I don't think I missed a spot. If I did miss one, oh, it's gonna hurt some people in the comments, their OCD and whatnot. But it looks pretty good to me. So we got an entire blue floor. I don't know what else we need here. Do we need another like stove and stuff? We have plenty here. It seems like we do. What we need is some more furniture. So let's go ahead and do another booth. Let's do a booth like here, here, and then we'll do this. There we go. That's another seating area. And then we'll probably, should we do one more? Yeah, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's do one here here and perfect. All right, so we got a lot of seating up here now. We could probably even fit one more table right there. Nice. We just want lots of seating that sort of makes sense. I'm, I'm still working on the decorating and whatnot, but this is what I got so far. So my first floor, I'm gonna make that a light wood. This one's gonna be marble. This one's gonna be blue. I'm gonna try and make it so every single floor is a different color, but look, look at all my floors working all the people working, all the restaurant workers and stuff, all the customers. This is a really cool, like little uh, image of the game. All right, let's go ahead and teleport. So we're down to uh, this floor right here, or up to this floor. Oh, I need more marble. Um, let's go ahead and put some more stoves where we can fit them. No, don't close, I did not mean to do that. Um, can I fit another thing right here? Oh, I can. Let's put a high, high tech stove right here. There we go, that works. Okay, nice, I'm down. That works. And then let's go ahead and go up to uh, floor three again. And yo, wait, this actually kind of has enough. Let's go to floor four. Floor four needs some more stuff. Oh wait, we already have two up here. Okay, floor four kind of has a lot. Let's go to floor five then. And floor five, uh, I don't even have any like, I don't even have, uh, what's it called yet? Let's put a luxury stove up here. I don't even have counters, but you know what? Screw it, all right? We just got a lot of stoves and dishwashers. That's all we need, that's all we need, baby. Uh, High-tech stove, lots of stoves, lots of dishwashers, in case they wanna come up here, and, and then I need to sort of make the counter space, but I don't really have anything, do I? Oh, I do, I do. Okay, nice. Um, let's go ahead and do this, and then add some counter along this way. This is a wide counter, trust me, I know. But, uh, oh, we also need an order stand. There we go. And then we can sort of do this and then this. Nice work, Russo. Play oh, I messed up. Nice work, Russo. Bam. No, I don't want to close the restaurant. I keep accidentally clicking that. Um, I want to remove something. I forget how to remove something. How do I do that? Oh, delete. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now they can come up here if they want to get stuff and there's so much space. I actually, in between these counters, I might I might put more, uh, you know, stuff. Oh, also, I realized my boost ran out. Double the profit, we need to put this back on. Nice, there we go. All right, so I kind of want the satisfaction of making all of the people in my restaurant go away immediately. So let's go to floor one and use this Robux thing, ready? Golden fork, all the, in all the customers instantly finish eating, ready? Instantly. Oh my gosh, and then you get a ton of money. That's so sick. I love that. Um, what are we missing here? So the only thing we're missing is the royal bundle. You guys pretty much guessed it, all right? Um, I am gonna purchase the thing. I know you guys probably got it to the light goal. And not only am I gonna purchase the royal bundle, but I'm gonna purchase the shrine. I don't know what this does, but it's literally $10 million and it's it has question marks on it. Like, who knows what it actually does? It's so cool that I have to buy it. It's $10 million. So in order to get that much money, 
it's gonna be a lot of Robux. Let's first buy the Royal Bundle. We'll have this at the eighth floor, guys. The eighth floor is gonna be the Royal um, area. Four Royal chairs and one Royal table. But this, this is what I really want. I need to make $10 million. So there's our first million. We're gonna have to purchase a lot of cash or just do a lot of grinding to get this 10 million shrine. So I'll be back. We will get that before the end of this video, but let's teleport to my restaurant first and uh, test out this Royal bundle. So we'll go all the way to floor eight. I don't know what we're gonna do to the floor right now, but just in the middle of the, the restaurant, we're gonna go ahead and do this, ready? Furniture, the Royal table. So the Royal table is just gonna go straight up, like right here and then the, the royal chairs. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. Look at this. Oh, VIP customers here. I wonder if they're gonna go in the royal the royal chair. Oh my God. It's, it's kind of like lopsided and kind of awkward, but you know what? This is where the important person sits, okay? <laughs> um, and I think I, do I, do I need better counters for this? I guess this is kind of fine. We'll just do, we'll do this. Oh my God, so many VIP customers are entering. So many VIP customers are entering right now. Another order stand, there we go. Um, let's do another one of these and then loop it. There we go. And then just kind of cover it. There we go. And I need some uh, appliances as well. We'll get a dishwasher going. We'll get a high tech stove. And then we'll get a high tech dishwasher. Bam, nice. Oh my God, VIP customers are eating, hello. How are you? How are you, sirs? Did you have a chance to look at the menu? I spent a lot of money on this, so please uh, don't don't hate it, please. I like really need you to like it. Sick though, having them eat at the top floor, dude. All right, I, I definitely need to make the flooring better in here. But I don't really want to spend a lot of my money because I want to save it in order to get myself, uh, you know, I want to save it in order to get myself the shrine. So we're gonna sit down. We're gonna do a lot more grinding. When I come back, we're gonna have enough for this $10 million shrine. Stay tuned. Guys, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't wanna do this. I honestly just wanted to try and get the money legit, but it's taking a long time and I'm impatient and I just wanna see what the shrine does. So we're gonna go big, all right? We're gonna spend all our Robux. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna seat all these people. Look at this. I'm such a good restaurant owner. Such a good restaurant owner that I have almost nine. I almost have a thousand customers served. No big deal. Anyways, I'm gonna get the shrine today, all right? I have $7 million. I basically have to spend all my Robux in order to do it. Oh, look, I leveled up, yay. But I have to buy this two more times in order to get the shrine. It's 10 million cash. So, uh, oh my gosh, literally, I spent probably like 60,000 Robux in this video, guys. Make sure you like the video, okay? Please, please, please just like it. What am I at, what am I at? Oh my gosh, I did it. All right, so 10 million cash completely down the drain, but it's for a good cause. We're buying the shrine. So the Royal Bundle, we already bought this. It's 5K Robux, but it gives you an insane value. You can only buy it once apparently. And then from there on out, it costs a lot of money to buy each one, but they help a lot in giving you a VIP customer like every time, which is a really expensive customer. But now we can buy the shrine. So let's just buy it. I don't know what this is gonna do, but I'm buying one. Oh my gosh. All right, I did it. It literally just has question marks. I don't even know what it does. I don't even know what it does, but we bought it. All right, so uh, there it is in decor, the shrine. Holy smoke. So let's just make sure you put it in the restaurant, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, you put it inside the restaurant. So let's just, uh, let's put it at the top. Let's go to the final floor because this is gonna be like our fancy floor. This is where the royal customers stay and let's put the shrine. I don't know what it does. Oh my gosh, here it is. Let's just put it like right there. Bam, <laughs> there it is. All right, so what does it do? What does it do? Oh. oh my God, what? What is happening? What is happening? My whole restaurant is shaking. What? A mysterious energy is present in your restaurant and there's 15 hours remaining. What the heck does that mean? What did that do? Is that a good or bad thing? Bro, what? Okay, well, I don't know what that did, but apparently there is a 15 hour timer and we have to wait 15 hours to see what this does. I have no idea what the shrine's gonna do. Please let me know in the comments what you think the shrine's gonna do. We're gonna have to make a follow-up video on this tomorrow, seeing what the shrine did in my restaurant. But uh, there it is, the $10 million shrine. I, I won't, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say because 
I thought it was gonna like give me a bunch of money or a bunch of customers, but it just shook my entire restaurant and now I just have to wait that long, dude. What the heck? So everyone in the, everyone in the, uh, the server is freaking out. I don't know if they saw this, but there it is. Well, uh, I have no idea what that means. All I know is uh, tomorrow is going to be a super good video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and make sure you hit the notification bell to not miss tomorrow's video. <gasps> oh my god, somebody... Uh, dude, question marks enter my restaurant. Wait, what? There's like a bunch of ghosts. Wait, who is that? Who is that? Oh my gosh. Dude, who is this? Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? Everyone in my restaurant is ghosts, and this guy is like the question mark Dominus guy. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's happening right now. It still says 15 hours. I don't know what that means. Maybe for 15 hours, uh, customers like that can enter, and maybe they give me like a ton of money or something. I don't know. So look, everybody is a ghost. What the heck? Is it like everybody that eats at my restaurant turns into a ghost? Dude, who is that? OMG. Who is this? Dude, what the heck? He's eating a donut! He's eating a donut! Why is this mysterious being eating a donut? <laughs> I have no idea what to think, guys. This is insane. All right, well, let's just wait till he leaves because he's probably gonna give you some big bucks. I guess everybody that eats here pretty much turns into a ghost or something. And for 15 hours, I have a chance of getting this guy in my restaurant. Oh my God. He's leaving, he's leaving, he's leaving, he's leaving. <gasps> he's happy. He's happy, he left. All right, well, I don't know exactly uh, what he gave me, but that was pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. A million chance of getting it? No way. No way. I don't know if that's really the odds, but if that's a really rare chance of getting that, then uh, that just happened. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's what the shrine does. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen in 15 hours. Maybe it just disappears in 15 hours and it gives you a higher chance of getting that super rare customer, but I don't know what happened. All I know is uh, I got a good amount of money. If you guys enjoyed, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and have a good one.